Let's get suspicious. Okay now little person. Remember to stick close to your babysitter. Hey Deadline. They'll be at the park until noon. You know what that means. <laughs> I can wait. Alright let's begin. MHA has an odd but consistent habit of removing powerful villains like Zan's man deadline and stress man as fast as possible. While useless trash such as fellow reptile Libra and Death Note stay. The main villain itself is a massive garbage loser who can't even go 2 seconds without plot armor before getting utterly stomped by literally any hero. Not so fast! Miss Mine Leia has the shortest screen time of any relevant big time villain. Outside of props like Sludge Conqueror, Octodad, Shame, and Roadkill. That's because she's extremely overpowered, and that's why she's the best. Now let's talk about Miss Mine Leia's quirk, Langmine. Don't believe DJ's bullshit saying it's a weak quirk, he's just jealous because his quirk sucks. Take note that this is the only time a quirk is called weak, so you can tell DJ's pissed off why this quirk didn't get to be his. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE To start with how overpowered landmine is. They're invisible. Are you sure about that? There's no sign they're there. You never know what's primed to explode and what's not. <laughs> Even better it works on people too and has unlimited duration. Do you want to explode? Miss Mine Leia could be halfway across the country and still detonate someone just because she shook hands with the person a week ago. The exploded person is reduced to ashes, and it can never be traced back to her. Oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell! How does she know what things are primed to explode? Simple, that's because she can see marked things, even through solid objects. She can detonate everything even without direct field of vision. This ability makes her capable of tracking down people provided she can mark them first. In Libra's case, the leftover explosive blood she drank earlier allowed Miss Mine Leia to see her, and coordinate the explosions of her other mines. Furthermore, what if you want to remove them? If you don't have McCree to stare down Miss Mine Leia to remove all of her mines, then good f***ing luck. Moving on to firepower. Let's compare her to God, her closest counterpart. God uses sweat to form explosives. Which means he's limited to how much water he drank at that time before he runs out of ammo. The only problem here is that God is a massive Mary Sue, able to fire off continuous huge explosions without ever being dehydrated. Notice this exchange. He's saying Claus has a limit, completely ignoring his own. <laughs> but we are not here to talk about Mary Sue's, let's put God on a realistic setting for a bit. In the real world, conventional bombs get stronger the more explosive material is shoved into it, which is the exact same logic as God uses why his nitroglycerine cannon is extra powerful. <laughs> Miss Mine Leia uses no ammo at all, and there's no limit to how many she can lay down. She can stack so many invisible and undetectable mines on one spot until it has the explosive power of a nuke. Power! And about actual firepower, Miss Mine Leia possesses the most powerful explosive quirk in the entire show. While God can nuke people in the face and do zero damage, she can blast the evil living crap out of people and actually hurt them. Sansman took the strongest hit Falcon can do at the time and only got a small head wound. 
Miss Mind Layer's explosives can apparently deal the same, if not more damage, compared to buff me up's super punches. But wait, there's more. Let's see how quirks are improved. When your muscle fibers are overused, they break and grow back thicker. Quirks are the same way. They improve the harder you push them, stronger after every workout. Since Miss Mind Layer has no weaknesses at all, she can easily improve her minds at zero cost by just laying down minefield after minefield after minefield. Furthermore, the MLA is all about training your quirks, and by that logic she should be phenomenally overpowered at this point. And since the League of Losers is an embarrassing pathetic stupid worthless bunch of brain dead garbage moronic idiots who literally stood where they want them to stand. They should have been flung to the moon in a few stacks of nuclear powered mines. The League cannot overpower us! Next we get to the technical part. Miss Mine Layer's mines are more complicated than it seems. It actually has two modes. Lang Mine Mode and Infuse Mode. Let's start with the simple infuse mode. It simply makes the target explode after a short glowing delay, vaporizing all traces of the target without leaving anything. This gives her the ability to threaten marked people no matter where they are, and being threatening is a good villain tray. And also prime liquids if she touched the container, as evidenced by her ability to blow up blood. Since Infuse Mode turns the entire target to an explosive and she can remotely detonate only a portion of it if she wanted to. That allows Landmine to stack with certain quirks for deadlier effect. Especially those who use disposable ammo made of themselves like Iron Maiden's teeth and Marksman's bullet hair. Langmine mode is what she uses as a default. Compared to infuse mode, it has no delay, and it works by marking a target area and triggering an explosion on a selected point within the area of effect. This explains how the brick launcher works and why she never misses. Furthermore, Langmine mode has 4 settings in which she could edit on the fly. Blast force, brightness, smoke, and cone of fire. These things explain why her landmines are very inconsistent. Sometimes it can launch people several meters, sometimes it's very bright, sometimes it's nothing but smoke, and sometimes the explosions are wide, concave, or V-shaped. Think of it as a slider in video game stats. For short, Miss Mind Layer's mines are extremely versatile on top of being able to stack and combine into phenomenal levels of firepower. And she has all the skills to coordinate repeated explosions or while blabbering about backstories. As for Miss Mind Layer getting launched high in the sky, that's just Libera's Mary Sue plot armor as Paul Du Sex Machina powers activating. When Libra touched the brick launcher, she added a recoil setting and turned it up to the max while removing all blast force. Which explains why she's not even pushed one centimeter from her position. And Miss Mine Layer was sent flying away. And then Miss Mine Layer got extremely pissed off at the audacity of the plot to give Libra a convenient Aspel ability. And f***ing blew her up to smithereens before getting rescued by one of Stress Man's floating equipment. The end. Moral lesson. Don't mess with the killer queen. So Deadline what do you think? Where is the poke? The joke's right there, front and center. Where is it? I just hyped up a character with barely any screen time. It's the entire joke. <laughs> I thought those two won't be back until noon. So, blue woman. Does your quirk have a limit on how many you can put down? No, none. What? Miss Mine Layer, this is an April Fool's video. You shouldn't have said that. 